All right. So. Let's get this microphone sorted. I don't want those things of last time. I was recording and the thing was off. Entire video. So I'm vlogging and teaching. Vlogging, teaching. So you will enjoy the experience I'm having. And I'll be still teaching you something at the same time. Now, in most of my videos, I've told you guys. You don't have to squeeze. Uh, don't try to fit uh in the shoes that are too big for you okay so this channel we talk about chosen people empaths you know light workers we talk about a lot of stuff very very high level very spicy high level stuff so you don't have to squeeze yourself if these things don't fit okay don't make it uh it might make your head spin so what i'm saying is that you don't have to try to make it fit when it doesn't fit Chosen ones, they know themselves. The awakened ones, they know themselves. It is not a myth. It is real. Many of us will know what it is. If a person who has gone through a spiritual awakening, that means that you have been chosen to see behind the veil. Okay? If you have been awakened out of the deep sleep, out of the matrix, out of the illusion. It is the very first sign that you are chosen one. Because this is not an experience that happens to pretty much everyone around you. It is going to be your own unique experience. It is going to be your own unique path. So, the mere fact that you have awakened means you have been chosen to see something different. You have been chosen to see something that many people around you cannot see. They are not able to see. If they will ever be able to see that, it, will, it, it is not your decision. It is going to be, it is going to depend on the universe, God, the Most High. But your eyes have been opened. It is a sign, again, that you are chosen one. A spiritual awakening is a divine event. They call it spiritual awakening because it's a spiritual event. Okay? Your soul is waking up. You're waking up and you're being given the chance to see and look behind the veil. To see beyond the illusion. And let me promise you, ladies and gentlemen, that sight, the very moment those gates open, and God will start showing you what is happening behind the veil, it is the moment you really understand that you never knew anything. You will start to understand that you never knew anything from day one. That is first. Second, you will understand that anything you have been told from day one has been a lie. So that's when you see yourself starting to question your parents. For me, in those days, I, uh, so in those days, I, I awakened from uh, a narcissistic relationship. And then after that, I awakened from um, a dysfunctional family system. And then I realized that everything I knew about my family, it was a lie. So I discovered as a black sheep of the family that I was a sacrificial lamb. Okay? So a lot of those parents, you guys are, for, uh, are born with those narcissistic parents. A lot of them are into witchcraft. So what will usually happen is that they will sacrifice you as a kid. So the black sheep is called the sacrificial lamb. So my awakening brought me to that realization that I had been the sacrificial lamb my entire life. Is the reason why I used to struggle with so many, so many times with so many things, different types of things. And the narcissistic parent knew what was going on. They knew what was going on. They knew everything in detail. But they were keeping it a secret. They were hiding it from me. So when I awakened, I discovered this myself. I was like, okay, thank you, God. Thank you, universe, for showing me all these things. Now I'm ready to go. And when I'm saying I went, when I'm saying I'm ready to go, ladies and gentlemen, I left. I broke away. I left the system. And apologetically. 
So, chosen people are trapped in the matrix. What is the matrix? The matrix is your job. You know, nine to five. You wake up, you wake up, and going to sweat, earning pennies, making somebody rich. Those are jobs. Those are those are the matrix jobs. And they're not taking you anywhere. You are going to work those jobs for the rest of your life and you will not grow. I know people who have waited into their old age and they're doing those jobs. And nothing is changing. I'm going to find a spot here. I like finding some spots and I can sit. So they do those jobs, ladies and gentlemen, forever. And they are getting the same experience, the same money, same results. You know, the same number of holidays is a waste of time. What is the matrix? The matrix is your family. The matrix is also your family. Okay? The illusion of your family that, oh, this is a family. Yeah. Well, this is my family, What? which is okay. Everybody has got a family. Some people have got good families. Some of us weren't lucky. We have got very bad families. And we have really struggled with those families until we have been able to break away from those units, it wasn't easy. What is the matrix? The matrix is your your school. The matrix is government. The matrix is everything. The big illusion. One of the things you're going to see, ladies and gentlemen, when you wake up, is that you're going to look around you and you're going to feel like everybody's asleep. The most shocking thing you'll see as a chosen one Waking up and looking around you, and you're discovering the entire people around you, everyone is asleep. They are asleep. Have you ever seen somebody who is asleep and they cannot even wake up? You're slapping them and you're pushing them around the bed and they can't get up. That's what you'll see. And you cannot unsee this. Why is the universe, why is God choosing you to wake up? God is choosing you to wake up because God is giving you a second shot at life. Let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. By the moment I received my speech awakening, in that particular moment, I knew that actually I was being given another chance to live. The narcissist was strangling me. The narcissist was suffocating me. The narcissist was suffocating me. The toxic family system was suffocating me. I did not have a way out. I did not know what do I have to do. Everything had stopped. Everything was a, was a, what do they call it? Everything had failed. Everything had stopped. Nothing was moving. My health was in pieces. My finances was in crumbles. I had lost, I had lost everything. All my friends were gone. I had nothing. And then one day I was blessed. And I woke up. And now I'm looking back. And I'm thinking that this awakening was for me. I was chosen to I was chosen to experience this awakening. I was chosen to experience this awakening. Because I remember that from that point forthwards. Life as I knew it was never the same. You see, there's a difference when you're living a conscious life, when you're doing things consciously, when you're aware of everything. You're aware of energy vampires, you're aware of narcissists, you're aware of uh, the lies, you're aware of the manipulations, you're aware of everything. That's different. Because you're able to handle life in a different way. You can now be conscious of what you're doing. You'll be conscious of your energy, and you know that you can no longer give your energy really away just like that to anyone which is pretty much the thing that you used to do way back in time this time the game changes it doesn't happen like that when you decide to give away your energy you know who you're giving your energy because you at least know they may reciprocate it or you at least know you are giving to another person to heal them or to help them but they're not energy vampires that is different you are also starting to make 
every conscious decision you come to change your life. You no longer want to leave those funny, funny um, normal lives, the regular lives, regular lifestyle, like everyone else. You are choosing to change everything. All your friends will change. The environment will change. Sometimes you might even find yourself moving to new locations. You know, a lot of you are going, you guys are going to discover your gifts, you are going to discover your crafts. A lot of you guys, you are going to move into completely different directions. So, the universe has actually chosen you to wake up. It is one of the very first signs to understand that you are a chosen one. Because not everybody can wake up. If everybody was a chosen one, everybody would wake up. Do you guys even have any idea what the world would look like? Have you got any idea? What the world would look like if everybody says well, everybody, if everybody says was well, uh, awakened, if everyone around you was awakened, what would the world look like? Can you imagine the peace? Can you imagine the freedom? Can you imagine the, you know, that experience of having cautious souls around you, twenty-four-seven? In my opinion, it will be one of the most beautiful experiences on this universe. So basically, this awakening experience is for uh, a selected few. Me, if you ask me, I wouldn't tell you that I know if everybody else, is wake up, uh, everybody else will wake up. There will be people who will be sleeping all their entire lives. But there will also be people that will wake up at some point. Okay? So is the universe, is God, the most high who chooses who to wake up at what time? So the reason as to why sometimes as a working individual, an awakened individual, you move around and sometimes you're talking to people. And people feel like you are speaking a foreign language. They're like, what is this funny guy talking about? What is this one saying? What is this one saying? So some people now, they start to call you a conspiracy theorist. They call you crazy. They say you are insane. They don't know what you're doing. Many, many of them, they are, they are sending you to go and seek professional help because they think you are going crazy. Because in that particular time, you are the only one who can see everything that they cannot see. Okay? And who knows a lot of things that they do not know. So you become some form of a teacher. The more you go through this experience, you become a teacher. So you start to teach people, you show them the light. So the working chosen ones, normally what we do, we also help other chosen ones to wake up. Because I've, I've told you, when you wake up, you're going to understand that there's also other chosen ones around you who are, who are still asleep. And the only thing they need is to wake up. So you actually help them to wake up. Okay? You wake them out of the deep sleep. There is nothing which is as painful as realizing that you have been sleeping for quite a good number of years. You know? In just one instant, you wake up and you realize that how long have you been sleeping? So that was the very first question I had in my mind when I woke up from the narcissist. After the narcissistic abuse. I was like, all these years, the enemy was in my bed. I could sleep, I could eat, I could dance around with the enemy, and I didn't even know that I was dancing around with an energy vampire. That's what the awakening feels like, because now you're starting to see that you have been sleeping for all these years. Okay? There is regrets, of course. You will regret all these things that happened before. In the beginning of those stages, you will be it will be painful. There will be regrets. Why didn't I see this? Why, how come I didn't know this? Why am I knowing this now? Of course, I know these things are going to start happening. And then eventually, you're going to realize that actually, you are lucky. You are the lucky one to have awakened. So, spiritual awakening, my chosen ones, don't take it for granted. It's not a walk in the park. It's very painful. Life-changing events will happen. A lot of shifts, a lot of transformations, growth and everything. Everything will happen, but it's going to be painful, okay? So don't wake up and think that, oh, it's the end of the world because you have awakened. So now you can, you know, start to, you know, run up and down and do this and that. Yes, you're going to do everything, but there's going to be work to do, okay? You're going to have to reinvent yourself, you know, because remember that you're getting out of the matrix. So you're going to have to learn how to reinvent yourself, educate yourself, grow yourself, heal yourself, and love yourself a little bit more, okay? Love yourself as much as you can.
that is what the whole package looks like when you're talking about a spiritual awakening. You will hope on a journey that is not for everybody. You will hope on a journey that is for you, specifically for you. You will know what you came here to do. You will know who is for you and who is not for you. You will know your gifts. You will know your purpose. You will know your talents and you will know your skills. Okay? So you have been awakened because you have been chosen. If you still have doubts, whether you are chosen or not, the very first question you should ask yourself, are you actually spiritually awakened? Can you look beyond the veil? Do you have the eyes to see the unseen? Have you got the ears to hear the unheard? Unhearable or whatever? You guys, uh, the English guys, you can help me with this. Do you have the ability to um, to see beyond this 3D, the illusion? Then you have been awakened. You are the chosen one. Okay? No doubt about that. If you want to, the guys I'm talking about, I would like to know about that in the comment section below. You guys do know that I do love and appreciate your support. You can book a session with me. You may donate or support my channel if you want to. Everything you need, you will find it in the description below. And until then, I will catch you guys in my next one. There's a sign of out. Much love and blessings. Peace.